Today we are going to be drawing a giraffe. The first thing you need to do is put your name and class code on the back so I know how to get it back to your drawer. Then you're going to turn it over. Be sure that your paper is up and down. So the long side of your paper needs to be going up and the short side needs to be going to the side. We are going to start in the middle and we are going to draw a sideways oval. This is going to be the giraffe's muzzle. And then we're going to come straight up on the sides and draw two big circle eyes. Next, I'm going to connect down here on the side of my oval up to my eye. And I'm going to do the same thing because this face is going to be perfectly symmetrical. That means it's the same on both sides. Now if you mess up, that's okay. Make a happy mistake. Or I'm going to go from the top of my eye upward with a curve and do the same thing on the other side. I want to leave room for those little um, giraffe antlers here at the top. So my giraffe antlers are just going to be two curvy rectangle shapes. Next, I'm going to do my ears off the sides. Again, they're symmetrical, so I want them to be the same. I'm going to do a curved line and then another curved line to that point. Do the same thing on both sides. Now, I forgot to give my giraffe a face. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a straight line across the eye because giraffes have very droopy eyelids and then you can put an eyeball in the middle there. You can even put an iris if you want to. And then giraffes have two nostrils and their little mouth at the bottom. So, oh, and if you want, you can make that little in cove of the ear. Now, we are ready for our giraffe neck. So I'm going to go from here straight down, maybe curve it a little at the bottom, and then I'm going to go to my other side and go straight down. And maybe I want to curve this one a little bit further. That's where it gets asymmetrical. And what do we have left on our giraffe? The spots. So I'm going to make these spots here on his neck. They're kind of oval shapes or sometimes they're like a curved square. And then I'm going to go back and color those in with my oil pastel. table you have a yellow tempera cake and water and of course a paintbrush. You're going to get your paintbrush nice and wet and swirl it on your tempera cake until you have some yellow paint on there. And then we are going to be painting our giraffe in. Because the oil pastels that we use to draw our giraffe are made of oil, they're going to resist the yellow paint. So we don't have to worry about um, coloring in the lines too much. But when I get to my face, I don't want to color my eye and I just want to do my eyelid, my head, my ears. So I'm going to be very careful on my head.
are finished cleaning up, you need to put any cool pastels you've got off the counter back in the basket on the counter and you need to replace your paintbrush in your paint bucket. Have fun guys, see you next week.